There's been a stunning development in the bitter feud between SA Water and a Wattle Park man whose home was so badly damaged by a burst water main he was forced to move out. John Chen was told by SA Water he would have to foot the bill for a large portion of the damage. But the company's had a change of heart after being contacted by Nine News. A 30 metre high gusher that's caused a costly water fight. John Chen's mother's Wattle Park home still uninhabitable. Two and a half months after a burst water main sent a raging torrent of water and huge chunks of bitumen raining down on it, leaving them both out of pocket. I reckon it would be at least $10,000, if not more. John's mother had insurance on the house, but not their contents. The carpet, one major item, not covered. An SA Water claims manager emailing him, telling him the company wouldn't pay the $10,000 needed to replace it. Initially they told me they're going to cover everything pretty much, which was all good until a few days ago they said, they sent me an email saying, yep, they're not going to cover for the carpet. The claims manager also saying it wasn't SA Water's fault and it doesn't have to provide compensation unless it's proven that the break was caused by its own negligence. How could it be not their fault? I mean, seriously. SA Water has already paid for John's housemates to be put up in a hotel while the house is fixed. They'll also cover his insurance excess, calling it a gesture of goodwill. But that's where the buck stops. But there was a new development late this afternoon. After being contacted by Nine News, SA Water has now decided to pay 50% of the total costs of the replacement of fixtures and fittings, including the carpet. Rhett Burney, Nine News.